locked in to Not Without Alonzo. What are your general thoughts on Jesse Jackson? Man, you know, I don't know. I, I've been watching Jesse for a long time. He ran in 84. Right? He ran in 84. Um, I remember when I first saw Jesse make a crazy ass move at the Watt Stacks. Okay. I was 16 years old. And this was a big concert. Back it was a big concert. They had it had the whole Coliseum, Los Angeles Coliseum, was full filled with black folks, lock in and naturals everywhere. It was, it was natural naturals and and um. Pick for uh, what you call them? Uh, natural picks everywhere. Okay, bell bottoms and bell bottoms and afros everywhere. I was there, sixteen years old. My first concert cost me a dollar, and this is when the Crips was first making their be debut on L.A. And I remember seeing um, uh, packs of men just walking through the crowd taking folks leather jackets and hats and whatever the case may be. And they had some kind of arrangement with the Coliseum not to let anybody on the field to dance because they had a game the next day. I forgot whether it was the Raiders or the Rams. I'm not really sure. But there was a game the next day. This happened at the concert on a Saturday. The game was Sunday. They couldn't let anybody on the field. That was part of the deal. But as soon as the band started playing, Everybody run to the field. Start pop locking and blah blah. You see it on you get, you get, a documentary. Documentary. documentary yeah. What you don't see the documentary is when Jesse told the Crips to hope for, form a human chain around the track of the Coliseum. And I'm said I'm 16 years old. Like what the fuck did you just say? And sure enough, Crips. Not, Crips and non Crips or, 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 or Crip affiliates yeah. was all holding hands and people ran down trying to run down to the field and they was banking people up left to right and was so crazy man the police threw their hands up and went set up by the, by, behind the stage like I ain't messing with this right here and Jesse told him to do that now you might not they, I'm quite sure they cut that out, out, the, out the, video. Yeah, it's not in the video that's not in the video okay but it's in my goddamn memory Okay. Yeah, someone else. I had someone on my show. Who brought I it. remember that like it was yesterday, dude. Okay, I've been a part of LA, uh, LA entertainment history for a long time, and I remember that because I remember talking about it afterwards with my buddy. You see that dude? What, what's he thinking about? Yeah. And th from that point on, I've always like, man, he ain't he ain't that sharp. To me. I mean, he cool. Yeah. I mean, and there's a uh, there's a television there's a radio show that actually. Clowned him where well, he used to. I haven't watched him listen to a while. Yeah. What the hell did Jesse Jackson what, say? What the hell did Jesse Jackson say? Tim Conway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to listen to him all the time. Yeah, they would play a clip of Yeah, and you kind of figure, what did this yeah. motherfucker say? Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Okay. Yeah. Why would he say that? Yeah. yeah, and he's supposed to be a great orator. Uh, I'm like, well, shit, you can't, you need a damn dictionary <laughs> to figure out what the fuck he did. But, I, you know, I'm not mad at him. Uh, I, I've heard, a lot, um, I listen to talk radio a lot. And a lot of people are really disappointed because you know he's he's another cat that's got very rich off the uh, off the, uh, the the intentions, the plight, the plight of black folks. Mm -hmm. You know they call them poverty pimps. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he's got he made a lot of money to Rainbow Rainbow Push and other organizations. I don't know the man that well. I can't speak on him personally, but I do know a lot of people in that upper echelon that know. A lot of money has come through his hand, but and it seems to stop. It don't go much further than Rainbow Push. So.